On the 11th of December, our church celebrates the feast day of St. Daniel the Stylite. The following are some details of his life and works. At the tender age of 12, Daniel, after an intensive interview, was given conditional admission to a monastery not too far from his home, where he proceeded to astound the seasoned monks with his adult wisdom and his mature approach to the requirements of monks. This anticipated brief stay was to extend over a period of years, during which time Daniel not only made his presence felt within the cloister, but outside of it as well. The youngest to have been tonsured a monk, Daniel was the logical choice of the abbot when he announced the pilgrimage to be made to the Holy Land to pray at the tomb of Jesus Christ. Accompanied by many others, he and the abbot set out with eager anticipation, but it was a trip that Daniel never quite finished. En route to the holy city of Jerusalem, the entourage paused at the base of the pillar of the renowned St. Simeon Stilitis, who already had spent decades atop the huge pillar in a lone vigil for Christ. The great saint looked downward to invoke his blessing on the group below, but singled out Daniel to ascend the rope ladder. When he reached the top of the pillar, Daniel was overawed at the sight of the bearded ascetic perched there like a flightless bird, whose serenity explained why he preferred to be thrust skyward, as though to remind all below that they too needed to look upward if they hoped to attain the salvation through the Saviour. After a brief discussion, the ageing ascetic dismissed his young visitor with the prediction that he too would achieve renown by ascending a pillar in asceticism. When the journey resumed, Daniel was diverted from Jerusalem to Constantinople after being told in a vision that his destiny lay in the capital of the Byzantine Empire. After a brief stay in Constantinople, during which time his brilliance outshone those who preferred to see him elsewhere, he was assigned to an abandoned temple in the city of Pimplemfora, where it was hoped that his bright light would be reduced to a remote dimness. He had such a spectacular success there, to whom people would go for spiritual assistance, that he was called upon by no less a person than the patriarch Anatolius, who wished to see for himself the miracles this young monk had performed. A student of St. Simeon, named Sergios, came to Daniel bearing a robe from the venerable ascetic of the pillar, who had died, expressing the hope that Daniel would pick up from where he left off. Daniel lost no time in having a pillar erected just outside the wall of the city of Constantinople. From this lofty perch, he commenced his own vigil for Christ, in a stint of religious expression that was to last for more than 40 years, during which time he paralleled the life of his boyhood idol. When the pillar showed early signs of deterioration, a second, more sturdy one was built for him by the emperor. St. Daniel died on the 11th of December 493 at the age of 84.